Alianora's story makes for a pretty good sailor's yarn. She was responsible for our family's indestructible bond with the Caribbean and the sea. And most important, she was the matchmaker that brought us and Bitter End together. This story starts in the mid-60s when our family pulled up its winter stakes in Florida and headed to St. Thomas. From our first visit to North Sound in 1964, we were enchanted by its remoteness and solitude, its unspoiled shoreline and reefs and the calm, breezy anchorage off Jonah Point. So it didn't take my parents long to find a distinctive 60-ton British catch in Grenada, a yacht that became a part of our family for 25 years. She was 60 tons, 72 feet, double-ended, built of oak and yellow pine. By the time we bought her, she had been refitted from stem to stern, above and below deck, re-rigged for trade wind sailing. Eleonora made frequent visits to Jonah Point in the late 60s, and the result was that we bought Bitter End in 1973 to be our family retreat, and then Eleonora's base moved from Cowpet Bay to North Sound. <music> But Eleonora was not a homebody. Her horizon always extended well beyond North Sound. Eleonora even had the honor of hosting King Olaf during the Royal Norwegian Yacht Club Centennial and serving him the bootleg booze that we had smuggled from the Caribbean. By the 90s, mom and dad decided that the time had come for them to swallow the anchor. After an amazing 25 years, we reluctantly entrusted the care of this adventurous and worldly grand dame to a new owner. Eleonora's figurehead, Prince Eleonora, always kept his eyes on the horizon looking for the magic that lay beyond it. As we steer the course towards Bitter End 2.0, we couldn't find a better role model. Thank you.